right, Nocturnal News. By the way, we had a video go viral on TikTok. So that clip got 2 million. This dude got 3 million views. And that one is also you. That's 3 million. And that's just only three of them as I went down the list. Because I told you you were going viral. And you did. You're on 8 million views and another half a million on Facebook. So collectively, I don't know, maybe around 10 million views worldwide. Uh, now, of course, right here on YouTube, I don't know, maybe 300. So, but that's the nature of YouTube. Okay, that's number one. Number two. We're going to do this video in one take. Typically, I do these videos in several takes, and, you know, they're perfect. So, uh, you know, I just got to gotta get the, these videos cranked out. So here we go. All right, now this is a good one, guys. I doubt you've heard of this. Tell me in the comments below if you have. Okay, Israel, 2007, was carrying out a very large-scale, highly top-secret military exercise close to the Syrian border. And what happened next was almost identi identical to what took place off the coast of California on the USS Nimitz. And since then, it has been confirmed that the Israeli Air Force bombed a nuclear weapons facility on the Syrian border. Sound familiar? Okay, look, we also know that past ufo cases have been tied to nuclear facilities and, you know you tell me why in the comments okay although i've always felt there is more of a i guess an earthly explanation for these ufo sightings it has been rumored that the israeli air force was experimenting yes this is going to sound crazy but experimenting with its top secret anti-gravity aircraft in this video in other words this was an intentional leak by the Israeli Air Force because they invited the BBC to film and report on this particular day of training. The F-16 that was encountered by the UFO was a part of the 105th F-16 Scorpion Squadron tell number 673. Okay, it took me a lot of digging to find that. And again, the training video was originally filmed by the BBC along with the F-16 jet-mounted cameras. And guys, remember, even back then, uh, you know, we're talking about a multi-million dollar camera and weapons system system rather okay as i previously mentioned some believe this possible anti-gravity craft was filmed and broadcasted on national tv intentionally as an intimidation tactic by the israeli air force basically saying hey look what we got you know america's done this we know that i mean think back to the stealth technology and all the things they hid from the public and they would fly them over these um you know war zones or during training and it was a way to intimidate you know the opposition basically the the enemy okay now at first i thought this was just another example of just some type of earthly craft being misidentified. I mean, how many times have we seen that, right? A million, okay. Uh, meaning this is just something on the glass of the camera lens or, you know, of, of the F-16 or something to that to that effect, right? But you can clearly see 100% that, that the, the UAP is traveling behind the fighter jet, making it impossible to be something stuck on the camera lens or, you know, something wrong with the video processing perhaps it is going behind the f-16 okay and as we all know there are so many logical explanations for what these these sightings are or what they can be but in this case it's traveling again behind the jet not in front of it so common sense says there's something there you know that's not the camera it's not glass it's not on the cockpit there's something there ruling out the possibility of some type of explainable you know camera or post-production anomaly and, and i'll play a two-minute segment in today's video proving this is not something stuck on the camera lens or whatever because i know that's what all the debunkers are going to say in the comments because you know that's always the go-to excuse by the debunkers okay also i would like to add i am literally the only person that did any type of research on this particular ufo case every other ufo channel simply reposted the video from the bbc and slapped it on the, on their channel you know with some advertising but i've done you know a, a lot of research for a couple of days probably in order to bring you guys all the facts and the details okay all right so let's take another look at the original video and we can break it down together and please tell me what you think in the comment section below please it really does help out the channel yes you, I know you, the, you, the person that's listening right now, yes, you, leave a comment below. 
Okay, so as I previously mentioned, we're going to go through this kind of frame by frame, slow it down. You can clearly see there is some type of craft. I don't know what it is. I think it's probably military. Uh, now, the little dots on the screen, that could be something reflecting off the glass. Now, look at this, guys. Watch right there. It goes in front of the F-16, meaning if it was in between, it's probably on the glass and that's the actual fighter jet right there uh, I did mention the tell number earlier but again you can clearly see that this this UFO object whatever you want to call it is going behind or I'm sorry in front of the fighter jet again this is the 105th um, squadron the scorpion squadron tell number 673 okay all those little dots right there I'll just be honest I'm not buying it I think that's just camera anomalies lens flares uh, the Sun reflecting you know something like that it's basically people trying to make something that's really cool even better right now there's multiple UFOs no no I think that's a bunch of BS I think whatever that object is right there I think that's the you know the star of the show I think that is something real, uh, and it's 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 impossible for it to be some type of uh, you know camera anomaly or on the glass or whatever. I mean, I, I can't explain it. Maybe you guys can explain it, but I can't. Right there, boom! You see it go in front of the jet. Now, this is. Um, going to get downgraded heavily when i upload this to youtube it's going to go from you know 1080p probably down to who knows like 270 knowing youtube but right now in my um editing app and, and, and on the software on my uh, laptop it's clear as day that it goes in front of the jet and i can leave a link to the original video below from the bbc now of course the bbc they didn't even mention that this happened okay and, and i thought that was a little bit odd okay that's number one number two uh, i i think again this was some type of intimidation tactic by the israeli air force uh to say hey look what we got guys you know look what's up in our sky what are you going to do about it? You know, that's a very common tactic. So so in closing, I don't think there's a whole lot more to add to this other than it is truly a mystery. Now, I want to show you quickly the video that was stolen from me and accumulated some 10 million views across the world. And I got absolutely zero credit for this video meaning these big famous tiktokers stole my video put it on tiktok and gave me absolutely no credit now right there those are real pictures that my uncle gave me uh they're literally in my closet from you know right behind me from where i'm making this video uh and he gave them to me it was basically the hubble telescope flying over ellington airfield it's a military air base right by nasa in houston and a friend of his was a photographer and took those photographs of the actual Hubble telescope, you know, zooming through the sky. Looking at this video, you know, back when I first started editing videos, well, for nocturnal news, probably about, I don't know, three, four years ago, I thought I was the shit, right? I thought I was like so good at this. And looking at this video, it's absolutely terrible. I mean, talk about amateur hour. The audio is awful, okay? Um, I made this video with a $15 Purple Panda microphone and like a, I don't know, an $80 Samsung cell phone. So, you know, it's just funny how in life we progress and we grow and, uh, you know, we think we know it all until five years later and we realize we knew nothing at all because, uh, you know, if you look at what I can do today compared to what I did back then, it's night and day. So, but anyway, guys, look, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for being here. Uh, I'm still working on that Antarctica uh, anomaly and a lot of really cool stuff. I mean, I'm trust me guys, I, you know, look, I don't let you down. I don't make false promises. I have some of the best UFO clips coming up. So stay tuned.